<laughs> every time. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? You could just say, hi, it's Skyla from Skyla's World, and I'm here with Meme. Okay, like that. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is Skyla from Skyla's World, and Skyla is going to show you her sewing machine, right? Mm -hmm. It is, what is it called? Little so and so. Little, Lil, L I L apostrophe, so and so. I'll show you the box. And I'll also have the link down below in the description box in case anyone wants to go check out this machine. Do you like it? Oh, let's show them the blanket you made. So you made it with, this is all flannel, right? And you have red on one side. It has a print, doesn't it? What is the print? Sneak a peek. All right, so she chose this for the back. We're just using stuff that I brought from Maine. And that's what we had for the other side. And you just, she just put the two right sides together and sewed all around and left the space. I showed her how to do that and then she turned it. And then she sewed all around. And she wanted red thread on the top. So there would be red thread on the yellow, and then she wanted yellow thread in the bobbin, so there would be yellow thread on the red. Oh, and there's, I see, the little sewing machine. Okay, so here's the box. We have a coffee cup in the way, but you can see the box. Mm -hmm. Little so-and-so up there on the top in green. And we got the one with the bonus, which has a thread kit and what else? The sewing machine. No, and the scissors. Oh. So show you scissors. These are battery operated. Ow. Give me a piece of paper. Oh, you need a piece of paper or, or fabric. Okay, let's hang on. We're looking at this little guide uh, for the first time. We haven't tried this yet. And there is a guide that I guess you must, oops, right here. You must stick it in here somehow so when you're cutting your fabric, you can, you know, measure how far you are from the edge or whatever. But we're not using that. But she just, oh, let's not cut a whole big piece like that. Let's do a scrap. We'll just do some little scrappy pieces. But this works very good. Oh, first show them how to turn it on because we had a hard time with that. You have to put two AA batteries in. Mm -hmm. And that cover is a little hard to come off, but you have to like kind of like pull it up and out at the same time. Yeah. Well, if they get one, they can figure it out. <laughs> I can't do it with one hand. Okay. And then just show on the side, there's like a little switch. Off. And then, and then you oh. pull it, it's oh. off if you push it forward, and then you, oh, you pull it you back, push. and then it lets you push down. Okay. okay, so here she goes. Normally you would cut on the table, but it's hard, the positioning, but they work really good. And you can also cut paper. Let's get a piece of paper. Skyla's going to show you paper, so they come in really handy for crafts. I mean, it's the kind of scissors that any kid would love. And I'm pretty sure you can order just those, but I can't remember how much they are. Oh, the machine was $42, and that included the scissors, and also I'm going to show you her spools of thread. She got what, 32 spools of thread? And, and 32 bobbins. bobbins already wound. So there's more thread and bobbin. And you got uh, needle needles. Yeah, she didn't get these. I knew they weren't going to come with sewing machine needles, so I bought those separate. Uh, it came with a needle meter. threader. Thumbtacks. Oh, yeah, not thumbtacks. Uh. Um, oh, my goodness. Um, uh, not, not a pin cushion. What the heck is this? A thimble. <laughs> Two thimbles. In case she wants to quilt like an old lady. <laughs> and uh, Oh, a measuring one. tape. And then these sewing needles, which are a joke because the, the holes are so tiny. So those aren't great. And then this um, seam ripper. That does not work well. It doesn't work at all. I mean, it's sharp enough, but... I mean, it's pointed, pointed, really pointed, but you can't rip a thread. It just, this this little gully part that's supposed to be sharp right there is not sharp at all. So those those were no good, but everything else was good. Oh. Okay, she wants to cover up her things. These little cases we bought because the, the thread didn't come with cases. 
And then I also picked her up some clothes, um, no, what are these called? Pa paper, paper clips. clips. Clothes clips. I thought that would be the safest thing for her to put fabric together and to hold it or to hem. And she's going to try hemming today. But first, she's just going to show you, let's see, what do we have here? Those are the stitches. It comes with eight stitches, zigzag, and some other funky things. And this is what how you decide which stitch. So, so if she wants like number three, she puts that on number three. This does have reverse, and it has a foot pedal, but we've been using it with you the... Can, you can put it on the, the switch is Yeah, right. the switch is not plugged in. So you can have low or high. I found this, the pedal is very tiny, and... Um, how do you press on? Oh. Yeah, it, when I tried it, I wasn't liking it. She hasn't even tried the pedal yet. We just decided to use that. And this is electric but it also can be run by battery. But it does have a power cord right there. What else did it come with? Oh, if you get just the machine without the bonus pack, this is what you would get for thread. A black and a white and two bobbins. And it does have instructions that I hope she never loses. And she has some batteries here that's for the, um, for the scissors. Oh, and it comes with these little scissors that do actually cut fabric. You would think they're just craft scissors, but they are they are good. Okay, so what else about the machine do we need to say? Do you want to show them how to thread it? Mm -hmm. The threading needle part, we might have to shut the camera off because <laughs> it's hard to do. And it does have a light. So okay. she's just going to put that thread on that. Put it right here. Right there. Take the lid. Oh, and it has a little cap. I don't know what, oh, this is, to, we didn't thread a bobbin yet, and I told her I won't show her that this trip, because she has enough bobbins, and we don't have an empty one, and it has to be metal, the bobbin, because it's a magnet in there, magnet okay. tension. Okay. okay, so she goes around, put it on, that little thing, it's very easy to do the actual threading, she just has to go under, <laughs> I'm trying. Got it. Okay, you just have to go under those two little, oops, Wait, under those two little wheels right there. Right and then here. down. Wait, this needs to be up. Oh, you need to, you need to have your needle up. Turn. Up. Oh, and it wants to go in that, you need to have it go in that crack. And she has these funky fake nails on her thumbs. <laughs> Okay. Go back down. down. Oh god. And now you have to put the needle down because you gotta get into this hole right there. So now that's when and you never want to do this when it's plugged in. I'm blocking my light. I know she's blocking the light. It's hard and we can't turn the little light on because we don't have the power on. I don't want her threading it with the power on. Okay, got it. Okay, so she got it. Oh, now the big step. The needle has to go back up. Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. I know, that's the hard part. And then I put the foot down just to give myself more room. And we'll be back in 20 minutes when it's threaded. <laughs> <laughs> While Skylar is trying to thread, we didn't show you because I wanted to be able to show her hands-on how to change the needle. So I bought her some needles. Oh my goodness! <laughs> This is where sewers learn how to swear. <laughs> and all it is oh is my gosh! all it is is this knob here. You just turn it toward you, the needle comes out, and then you put your new one in, and it's always the flat side to the back in case somebody doesn't know. Oh my know. god, I almost got it. Okay, I know you have look, look at how she is. She's got a light under on top of her head. We're not situated the best way. Let me show you the needle. Okay, this is going to be like next to impossible to show you, but all sewing needles have a flat side on one side here and a and a round side, and you'll know. And the flat side, which would be this way, goes to the back. And there's a groove in the needle in the front, and then that's the way it goes in. Flat side to the back, groove in the needle to the front. And then all you do is you stick that new needle up in there where the other one came out, and you tighten that. Now we have to switch places because she can't thread it. Okay, threading that was a nightmare. Skylar could not do it. I couldn't do it. We even greased up the thread with Carmex. <laughs> <laughs> 
but my glasses are not the right ones and Skylar has very, you know, hardly ever done this. So we asked Derek and he found that instead of looking at it straight on to just turn it a little bit so you can see the, you know, the side and he was able to thread it. So that means if Skylar can have help threading the actual needle, she might be able to sew when I'm not here. Tap okay, now she's going to change the bobbin. the bobbin. So all you do is you slide open the bobbin cover, and then it's a little hard to get it out. You really could use some tweezers for this gig. Got it. Okay, you just take your bobbin out, and then you wow. have to have the bobbin drop in. And there's nothing to snap here. It's just a um, magnet, which I think is cool, and it works really well. Ne never did uh, any stitches skip or anything. I'll just put that aside. We'll wind that up after. Okay. Now show how you have to hold the thread in your you right. hold the oops, okay. you hold the bobbin in your right hand. Let me turn it this way so I can show them. I'm trying to get this dang thing. <laughs> So you have to hold the bobbin like this and you want your thread to go from right to left in front. You don't want your thread in the back. You want your right to left and that's how you drop it in in that position. So you just want to make sure you get it right. Okay, now pull the bobbin thread out a little bit. Whoops. Now hold the top thread a little bit. And now you're going to manually turn toward you one whole revolution. So the needle goes all the way down and just keep turning toward you. And then all the way up and it's going to catch the bobbin thread. Pull that top thread and it's going to pull the bottom thread up through there. Now you take your handy dandy scissors and just move that thread all over mm -hmm. until you can grab the loop. Alright, you can grab that and then just pull all that through. Whoops. Uh, oh, put your cover on, sweetie. Oh. That's what we forgot. Easy as that. And then, you know, you have to just put the two threads in this slot. The blue one's already in there. Okay, make sure both are in there. You can turn this to the front so you can work better. You just put them both under in that slot. The, the dark blue one's already under there. Yep. So. Light blue, we'll have two. Skylar likes to always have two different colors, top and bottom. Just pull your thread, yeah, hold your thread there and then pull that to the back like that. There you go. And now she'll be ready to sew. Skylar's going to just do a little practice piece. We like to uh, see if it's threaded correctly. Which stitch do you want? Now when you change your stitch, needle always has to be up. So you don't break your needle if it's in the fabric anyway. Right now we're not in the fabric, so it's okay. Well, it's not really that hard to turn, is it? <laughs> okay, you're on seven, so she's doing this straight stitch. And then she's going to put her fabric under the needle and foot down. And then she's going to use that. And It's a little tricky, but I kind of like... You want to go off the edge? Yes, you can okay. sew right off the edge. So she's going to just do low. We're only sewing on low so far. I'm not ready to do high. <laughs> now what happened? <laughs> what? Move your fingers. Okay, our first jam. <clears throat> Almost every time that there is a problem with a jam, it's because you're not threaded right. And we noticed that this thread, probably when, you know, we were all playing with threading it. Anyway, it wasn't connected down here. You have to go down and around this guy and it was just across. Through this so, loop in the back Right, you down. have to go down here into this crack and then back up and then in this loop and then back down. I got a question. What, what is that right here? Is there a screw that's the there? tension. What's Very that? good question. And that's like um, the tension of your thread and for the most part you're going to want it on three for this kind of fabric. Uh, I'm not going to get into, you know, looking at tension, but the book explains, like if your top thread is too loose, it shows you in the book what that looks like, and then you would tighten this to a higher number. You would put it like on four, and if the top thread is too tight, then you would put it on a, a lower number like one or two, and that, the book explains it all. All right, so now we re-threaded, right. and Skylar's going to go on, uh, she's just doing a single layer, or do you want to fold? It's up to you, it doesn't matter. This machine works well on single layer and folded. We haven't tried anything but 100% cotton and flannel, which is cotton, and no fleece or anything like that yet. We didn't 
we didn't experiment Ready? to that extent. Okay, she's just going to go on low. And then she shuts it off. Lift the foot. Oh, and you have to show them that there's a little thread cutter. Thread cutter right, right there. Here. So she just pulls out and goes around the thread cutter. And that works good. There. And this is her little stitching on both sides. Okay, so we're actually going to sign off, I would think. Right, Skylar? So we can actually make something and just concentrate. There we are. We're trying to get into the camera here. Do you recommend this machine? Yeah. Link is down below if anybody wants to go check it out. It's only 42 bucks, and I think it's well worth it. It works yeah. good. Okay, what do you say, Nao? Thanks so much for watching. See you later? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Subscribe. Subscribe and hit the notification hit bell. Hit that darn bell. <laughs> the bell that doesn't really notify people, I hear. Yes, it does. Oh, it does good. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.